fellow prospectors, I'm Matters Live and this is patch 1.3.8. Let's dive right into it and see what they got for us. All right, so changes. We have reduced some of the PvP mission requirements. Kills required in adjusted missions now require one or two fewer victims. That's good. Personally, I don't really think, you know, that's that much of a big deal, but you know, hey, uh, I guess people were having trouble completing it, so that's good for the community as a whole. A similar change to PvE, we have tweaked some of the numbers at mid to late game hunting missions. That's really good because some of them are super hard early to get the kills because everybody's trying to do it, so that's good. Uh, Epic Shield reduced Smart Mesh and Hardened Bone Planes requirements from 3 to 2. That's really interesting. It's uh, going to put a lot more of those purple shields out there, so I look forward to seeing uh, you know, what that does as far as shifting the meta. Uh, laser drill beacon reduce, reduce smart mesh from four to two. Uh, that's really cool. It's kind of weird to me that they're doing this with the smart mesh because I feel like smart mesh is so much more common than it used to be. But, uh, you know, at the end of the day, more laser drills, more counters, more PVP. I'm all about it. Let me know what you guys think in the comments there. Um, after further analyzing our data on PVP encounters, the maximum number of players active on an instance has been reduced by one for both maps. That's really interesting. Uh, I wonder like how they got that. I wish they'd elaborate some of these things. Like it doesn't make any sense to me um, why one person would really change that. But uh, you know, that's interesting. That's really interesting. Uh, like I said, let me know what you guys think in the comments. I don't like that idea, but hey, you know, it's only one person. So I don't really, I don't know. Uh, we have tinkered with our matchmaking to protect fresh players better and to increase their the challenge for good squad players. This adjustment will also slightly adjust the experience for good solo players. Um, I really don't get that. Uh, I wish yet again, they'd elaborate a little bit on these, you know, changes to the MMR. I understand that, you know, they can't let us know everything, but I feel like it should be a little bit more transparent, but, uh, you know, uh, I don't know. I mean, at the end of the day, if they're trying different things and, you know, I guess it's good in the long run, right? Um, as far as the challenge goes, I mean, hopefully that maybe that has something to do with gear. Let's hope, you know, I don't know. Uh, we've given Jeff, our beloved Marauder, a brand new attack. Watch out for his antics. That's interesting considering he's already unpredictable, but, you know, hopefully it's really cool and makes it maybe like, I don't know, maybe like a finisher move, dude, or does some crazy damage. That'd be nuts, but let's see. Uh, players in the tutorial will now wear blue armor instead of green armor. A dead recruit isn't a great recruit after all. Interesting. I honestly never did the tutorial, but uh, I guess they'll survive better. That's weird, but good to know. Uh, weapon adjustments. Uh, bulldog increased spread by 30%. Holy shit, that is kind of huge. This bulldog is going to go from a two shot to at least a three shot from this. Guaranteed. Except for, for cheaters. Cheaters will be fucking beaming us still, boys. But hey, at least uh, normal players won't be slapping us with the bulldog when we're full kit. That's good. Uh, Advocate reworked the recoil pattern. Horizontal recoil does not go back and forth like a feral animal anymore. Hmm. Honestly, very interested in that. I didn't really think the Advocate's recoil was that bad personally, but maybe I'm just used to it. Let me know what you guys think in the comments about that. Uh, core reduced initial vertical recoil. Vertical recoil is more consistent. That's really interesting. Honestly, it's one of those things we're just not seeing the core. Um, so maybe this will put that in that slot that we kind of need in that, uh, you know, in that, that leg not legendary, sorry. The, uh, I can't think of the thing, but the red gun, you know, maybe it'll make it like, you know, really good there. Let's see. Uh, the flechette reduced horizontal recoil. Vertical recoil is slightly increased for second half of magazine. That's really awesome because it's basically like if you hit your first set of your shots, you're going to be just beaming, you know, but your second half is going to have to be, you know, hard. You're going to have to hit those shots early, make them count. That's really awesome. Unfortunately, I just don't like it because realistically, like you're just going to tap spray more. We're going to see a lot of tap spraying from the flechette. Quote me here. Let me know what you guys think about that in the comments. Uh, Votalic. Brute. Reduced horizontal recoil. Vertical recoil is slightly increased, slightly increased for the second half of magazine. So pretty much the same thing here as the Vachette. Really interesting. Honestly, it's crazy how much this is probably going to affect these, these guns. The only thing I don't really like about it is it's just going to literally be like tap, 
10 bullets reset tap 10 bullets reset tap 10 bullets reset it's not going to be hard for people to figure out how to beat that so it's going to be interesting we'll see but either way it's going to bring smgs in the meta which i think is awesome because they'll be able to hopefully compete with those shotguns and just blow open the meta where we can do some stuff let me know what you guys think about that i think it's awesome i want to see more brutes and flechettes i love those guns they're fun they're exciting i let me know what you guys think um some additional words from our creative director days on the state of balancing where we are in terms of balancing at the moment in general we see that people are starting to use late game gear increasingly as we get further into the season great we also see that the better gun and armor the more likely you are to win a fight by quite a bit i believe that 100 percent. this data is a bit tricky to interpret as it is muddled somewhat by the fact that better gun you have uh, the more experienced in the game you are likely to be but overall we are getting to a spot where guns perform roughly as we'd want them to where if you have a higher tier gun you are significantly more likely to win a fight but not so much that a player in gray gear has zero chance to even when i was smarting their opponent i really like this because honestly i i believe the guns in my own opinion are in a great spot like obviously the brute uh the vachette the core you know not the greatest solely because you know obviously it's advocate fucking shatter gun meta so i do believe like they need a little reworking on that end but i think it's awesome that uh you know i the what they've done i personally love it all the nerfs i think they need to nerf the shatter gun a little bit but that's for another time um clearly they're not thinking of that right now so let me know what you guys think in the comments uh what we are tuning weapons wise for this patch is the recoil of late game guns making them slightly less across the board unruly we want to make is more of a mix and match in each tier of different recoil behaviors when it becomes to armor and pricing we are making epic armor slightly easier to craft we want to be a place once again it is in a tough balance to strike where late game players do not take their top tier gear into raids but not always we do not want it to be a no-brainer either basically you want it to be a tactical choice when it, and if to bring what gear also a late tier play of course a big detergent from going in with the most expensive gear is getting killed by a cheater more on that below let us know what you think and keep up the feedback coming i really think that's awesome that they're keeping the such a close eye on this i think they've done a great great job i do think they need a little bit more buff for the purple and the red armor but i know other people dis disagree sorry for that um so i totally get that personally i'd like to you know see those armors do a little bit more but i still think it's awesome that they're uh you know giving us the option in this first season to craft those purple armors and really get the data out there that they want i think because that's the biggest thing they need to see the, the data and obviously with the cheaters and how much it costs and everything to make people are like hesitant to wear that purple armor so i think this will uh you know give it that change and not I, I think at least we'll see a lot more purple armor. So let me know what you guys think in the comments. I appreciate that. Uh, bug fixes. We have fixed an X point in the final area of the Crusher Caverns. Nice. That's awesome. That can't be looted anymore, I'm sure, is what the thing is. Realistically, honestly, it sucks that every time they put something in that people just abuse these things and go to these spots to do to, like ruin other people's experiences. I personally am not a fan of that. It's great that they're fixing that, though fix some specific cases where audio profile of a player did not reset when exiting a cave awesome that's beautiful i heard people are doing this for drills like they literally are doing it before they do the drill so that they can't hear anything but footsteps and i think that is beautiful please please keep this good work up jaeger you guys are beautiful uh fixed an issue where a crusher's projectile would remain stuck on them after being shot in their weak spot the pain dishing was resume appropriately i'm not really sure what that means like I, I guess theoretically, I, I don't know. I get with, the, with like the, the, the rock that's stuck there and stuff, but I don't know. I'm not really sure. Let me know what you guys think about that. Fixed an issue with the path find, or sorry, the path finding of striders. They finally learned to read the map. That's really interesting. Honestly, sometimes those things do some weird stuff. So it'll be interesting to see what kind of that does. Um, don't really think it's going to affect too much, but it's awesome to know. Uh, fixed an issue that would appear when skipping tech tree upgrades awesome anything like that is great i'm not i haven't personally ran into it but it's great uh fix an issue where sounds just disappeared like the cries of a helpless prospect you're locked in a vacuum of space interesting 
anything with sound i personally think is beautiful sometimes people just you don't hear shit and it's like what the heck's going on uh improved server performance and apply to fix for server crashes your overall experience should be smoother now beautiful uh anything like that is amazing to me a couple more fixes we applied previously so just in case you've missed them player who owned the ronin in previous version of the game will now have access to all their alpha pieces that's beautiful i know that was expensive a lot of you guys are you know deserve what you paid for uh players who owned the troublemaker in the previous version of the game will now have access to all their outfit pieces same thing beautiful thank you jaeger we love you uh after reviewing our data we have reduced some detection thresholds for our internal anti-cheat measures reducing these thresholds means security gets tightened fair enough i don't really understand how reducing some detection thresholds for i don't get it but i'm gonna take their word for it let me know what you guys think in the comments no issues, Biker Queen, same thing as every other patch. A player quarter upgrade may take longer than expected. This can take up to 24 hours longer than usual. Interesting. I've actually had that one time, and I wondered why, but that makes sense. Uh, we have changed our player support tool in game already, but it's currently not possible to send us tickets to the website. Awesome, guys. Well, I think uh, it's going to be a crazy patch uh, with the Brute and the Core and the Advocate, Bulldog, plus Shed changes. This is literally going to be a huge patch. Um, it's going to be awesome. A lot of fun and we're gonna see a lot different meta than we've seen lately and i think that's beautiful for the game changing it up let me know what you guys think in the comments thank you so much guys don't forget to like subscribe follow me on twitch and you guys have a great day man we'll see you guys tomorrow with the new patch get your brutes ready